But uh, mini truckers, brand here, that US mini trucks. We got the Honda Acti still here. One of the things I just saw, because I'm trying to get this guy's truck going, but the fuel tank sending unit doesn't even have a gasket. So in like the previous video you saw, I was jiggling it around. I'll show you what I did. I pulled the sending unit out and it's just sitting up here, but there's no gasket. So they have like this little locking piece and this other piece, but either if they put it in wrong, but I'm assuming there's a piece of rubber there. When I looked at the parts diagram, it was like a $6 part. So that's that, but one of the things that made me think about is I was like, man, you know, I'm like a pretty good mechanic. Come over here fixing all these other mechanic shops and they've got like, you know, big name apparently. But then I was like, oh dude, one of the things I'm not good at is maybe being like a salesman. And I got a couple mini truck sales stories that are funny, so. The first one, I don't know if I've told you before, but I had found, it's on a Subaru sandbar. Let me see if I can kind of show you on here what it would look like, but on those coolant lines that are running horizontal, like in the front, somebody had tucked two sandals into the thing. And like, they were like wedged in there. So it was just, when I did my kind of inspection, I'm like, what the heck did like someone you know get run over and they didn't even match so you're like well like it wasn't like some dude's spare pair because there were two separate ones and then i was gonna save it for you guys for youtube but i kind of had forgot about it so some people come and like look at the truck and they're doing a walk around and they're like climb under and they're like uh why is there like some old crusty japanese sandals in there and i was like oh you know and I forgot, so I'm like, ooh, yeah, that was for my YouTube channel. And they were like, right? And, they were, and I was just like, yeah, those were in there. And so, needless to say, they didn't buy the truck. They just like, had this weird face, kind of walked off. But if you ever see flip-flops in a mini truck, legend has it is till to this day, the flip-flops are driving around in America undetected unknown okay so that's a good mini truck story i'm probably gonna cut off and i'll do the separate one in a separate video all right peace stay mini don't do what these people do oh.